Hey guys, I thought I would just share some of my keyboard and mouse shortcuts for when I'm designing digital dentures in 3Shape. So this is the mouse that I have. It has some extra buttons, which I like. So first things first, if you roll the roller button, it will zoom your case in and out. If you click the right mouse button and hold shift at the same time, you can zoom a little bit smoother. If you just click the right mouse button, you can move your case around. The center mouse button moves your case around without spinning it. If you're ever using the wax tool in the sculpt toolkit, you can hold shift and roll the roller ball and it will make your circle bigger and smaller. You can hold control and roll the roller ball and it will change the depth of your wax tool. I have extra buttons on my mouse so I program them for smoothing and adding. Those are the two most common buttons that I use when I'm waxing and it just makes it a little bit quicker for me to switch between smoothing and adding. You can also use keyboard shortcuts on your number pad. You can use the star, the minus, and the plus. If you are in an area that you can use the articulator, you can click V on the keyboard to turn the articulator on and off. And you can also click T on the keyboard to turn on the color or the texture, if you will, of the model. In the denture design, you can use some keyboard shortcuts also. So obviously this little green button changes the size of your teeth. If you hold shift, it will change the size of the tooth symmetrically. If you hold control, it will equilaterally change the size of your tooth. So therefore, if you hold control and shift, it will change your tooth sides symmetrically. If you hold control Z, it will undo anything you've done. And if you want to redo it, you can click Control Y and that will redo anything you've done. You can use the symmetrical shift button in almost all of the design settings for dentures. Now in the morph tool, you can see if I grab it and I move my mouse around, I can move it in all directions. If I hold control and I move my mouse around, it only goes up and down according to where that little black arrow is. I can also make this circle a little bit bigger by holding shift and rolling the roller ball. So here you can see I'm affecting a really small area. And if I make it hold shift and roll the roller ball, I can affect a really large area and I can hold control to make it so it only goes up and down. And also work on these little buttons that pop up. So if you click on one of the buttons and hold control and shift, you can affect all of the buttons that are the same color at the same time. So if you want to Hold shift and slide your roller and make it a little bit larger, you can affect a larger area. Or if you want to make it smaller, you can do that too. If you ever have a problem that's persisting, I highly suggest you click Control F. This will generate feedback. Please, please, please send as much feedback as you can. This will help improve the program for the future. Sometimes when you're waxing up a really tight case, you get your wax up that comes up like this. So you're going to go into your morph tool and you're going to click shift and roll the roller ball so it's as big as possible. And then you're going to hold control and you're just going to drag up in all of those areas. Just make some nice little mountains everywhere where there's a hole. It's going to look crazy and wonky, but trust me, this is the fastest way to fix this. And you're going to go over to your wax tools, go to smooth and crank it as high as it will go and smooth out all of those mountains that you just made. And you can see even if you have really big holes in your wax up, this can fix it up in 30 seconds. No, no problem. 
then obviously you would have to go through and wax up the rest of your base, but this is a quick way to patch those holes up. Sometimes if your computer is frozen, you can use control delete. I don't like that. I like using control shift escape. This gets directly to the task manager. ever want to open the file explorer you can just click Windows E and it will just open your general file explorer. If you highlight a case and you click shift plus F4 this will take you to the manufacturing drive for that specific case and show you all of your STL or CAM files which is nice because you can just highlight them and drag them into your printing software makes it a lot easier than trying to find them later. If you highlight a case, you can also click F4, and this will bring up the three shape order for this specific case. So let's go into the scans of this case. Say we want to rename this, we can click F2, and it will rename. Let's Control C, copy this name. And let's also copy the name for the antagonist. So F2 to rename, Control C to copy, now everything's saved to your clipboard. So if we need to rename this one, F2 to rename, then we'll hit Windows V. And you can see everything that you've ever copied and it will all be in your clipboard. So now you can just click on one of these and you don't have to retype it and it will be spelled exactly the same. And say I renamed the wrong one, I can click Control Z to undo. I also like copying patient names into my clipboard it just makes it easier if they have a really long name or it's spelled really strange then I can paste it into a new work order and everything will be spelled exactly the same for all of my patients. 3Shape is nice because it actually shows you all of the keyboard shortcuts so I would just go through and maybe write a couple down on a sticky note and put them on your computer just the ones that you want to use the most. For the 3D preview, it says Control W, but you can actually just double click on this little image down here and a 3D preview will pop up. There's a lot of great shortcuts in here. I have the ones that I prefer written down and then once you use them quite a bit, you don't need them written down anymore and it'll just become second nature. I find it a lot faster than right clicking and trying to remember where it is on here. Um, you can generate your cam output, you can export your case, uh, you can open a new case. Finally, if you have a whole bunch of stuff open and you want to get to your desktop, you can right click the bottom bar and click show the desktop, or you can just click Windows M and it will take you right to your desktop. These are the ones that I use all the time. Let me know if you guys have some good tips.